what's up everybody this is oblog streams from bta network and at long last i finally got the day where i can react to all the other episodes of x-men 97 so guess what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna waste any time so what are we waiting for let's get rocking and rolling <laughs> let's see let me get over here there we go one two three previously on x-men there we go that's what i was waiting here <laughs> cool has spurred increased sympathy toward mutants. The team, they'll always be family. Ooh. Real slow. human relations one thing is clear to both humans and mutants i don't get it gene did the professor not trust me maybe we're seeing this wrong maybe he did this for us across the globe reports are flooding in mutants and humans aided and saved by the former mutant terrorist who'd gone missing after failing to launch a mutant rebellion following charles xavier's assassination last year and we're hearing the international community is closely monitoring the situation, with some demanding this unlikely savior answer for his past crimes. This is our home, you pig! It's all we have left. All you dogs left us! You think regular folks can sleep, knowing you demons are down here lurking? Please! Don't hurt Leech! <laughs> The depths you humans go. Even denying these outcasts the indignity of your waste. Using my powers to assess honesty is another matter. Even if I sensed Magneto's intentions were sincere, that's today, this hour, this minute. And we check every minute of every day. I was under the welcome impression that you and Mrs. Summers were leaving us. Not a chance. I'm keeping an eye on you. Scott? Read the will again. Like it or not, this is what the professor wanted. Please. My intentions here were not to cause drama or discord. You must understand. You have been our fiercest foe for years. A desire for you to prove yourself is only natural. And Storm, you are the closest thing to a goddess as we will ever see. So, I do not lightly deny your request and demand your trust instead. Xavier wanted this. Maybe he was wrong. After all our tete-a-tetes, you have finally realized what I did ages ago. Even Charles Xavier can make a mistake. Mm, okay. You wish him to be born human. I have wondered what it would be like to be human. It is a tempting daydream. But then, I remember how my mutant gifts brought me to this mansion, to this family, to a sister. Thank you, Storm. Ah, <sighs> just ever since I was in Gyrick's mind, I can't shake this feeling that something terrible is coming. <sighs> Boy, do I sound like a fool. <sighs> no, Jean. You sound like a mother. <laughs> oh, boy. Except they're not the good guys this time. I gotta say, it's a lot cleaner here. I 
should have thought twice. Magneto, by order of the UN Commission on Superhuman Activities, I hereby place you under arrest for crimes against humanity. You will stand trial at the UN headquarters. Should I successfully vindicate myself in what I will generously assume is a fair trial, will I earn your trust? That is how due process works. Then... Wow. That was awful. I yield. These acts prove Magneto's guilt beyond any doubt. If that were the case, are we truly to believe then that in the face of what you consider to be extermination, you would walk Charles Xavier's path? Not the worst thing that don't go Magneto's way, don't you think? Hmm. They've broken through the barrier. We can't hold them back. Deploying smoke! Deploying smoke! Protesters are breaching the perimeter. They must want Magneto. And the judges, ma'am. What in the blazes did we do? You gave a monster a trial. Now you are traitors to your kind. Ooh. Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Fred Flintstone with Wilma. <laughs> Get out of the way! Hang tight, Shady. Almost there. Almost there. Magneto and I will protect the judges. Be careful, Storm. It's still Magneto. Circumstances do not offer us a choice. Uh. Uh. <gasps> The breeze is gone. I cannot feel it. Nor the moisture, nor the air. What has he done to me? In another gesture of goodwill in our efforts to improve relations with our mutant brethren, we will begin talks to admit the mutant nation of Genosha into the United Nations. Poison? Dark roast. <laughs> Genosha, a UN nation. Never thought I'd see the day. I hear you and Jean have begun to make arrangements to leave. Does this mean you trust me to carry on Xavier's dream? The professor trusted you, and I trust him. How long? Additional tests will be needed before... Hank, please. How long? Oh, no. The effects appear permanent. <gasps> Whoa. We'll fix this. Scott and I aren't going anywhere, okay? Not until you're well again. Steve, we need to contact me. Oh, she can't hear a thing. Ooh. Huh. An old dark and stormy night troll. If only I hadn't left the UN, I could have... You did what you had to, brother. Storm did the same. And we will respect her decision. That's so. The blast had your name on it. Should be you leaving, Mon ami. Vampire. Not one minute. Storm will spend a day schlepping it with the basic folk and come right home, happy as a... <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> She's back! Jean? I need the X-Men. Whoa. <sighs> okay. That's weird. <laughs> Whew.
That was a good episode. Oh, all right. That was a mind blower. I mean, Magneto had the best speed. Storm, yeah, most people already know what happened to her. <laughs> Those who don't know, yeah, she lost her powers. And she's not herself. So, uh, that's got to be tough on her. Well, uh, at least I got through episode number two. Now, I still have eight more episodes left to do. So, what I'm going to do is keep it going. But I'm going to split these up. Don't worry, I'm not going to do it all in one continuous thing. That's kind of too tough. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break here. And then I'm going to get ready to do the next one. So, I'll be back a little later. Later. Thank you.